I guarantee you that I am legit the only Pokemon YouTuber that is crazy enough and weird enough to do just this. What is up my breaking family? Sending some positive vibes in your direction. As a lot of you know, I am a huge, well, more than huge, I'm a little obsessed with the Pokemon Psyduck and I decided to do something that no one else has ever done before, at least I'm pretty sure no one else has ever done before. I am trying to get one PSA 10 version of every single Psyduck card ever made. I know, I'm crazy, like I said at the very beginning, I'm weird. So about a month ago, right here on this channel, I decided to officially announce in a video that I was starting this very unique collection and in that video, I showed you every single PSA 10 side up card I have so far in this collection and today we are going to add to that collection I'm going to show you everything that I have acquired so far to add to this PSA 10 collection and we are going to open up some booster packs and I am going to kind of show you a side up card that I'm going to get graded and hopefully it will come back a PSA 10 and you'll understand what I mean by kind of. And I figured since I'm showing off the PSA 10 side up collection, I'd go ahead and rock my tie dye side up shirt that I've actually never worn before. See right here. And look, I bought it on clearance because you know your boy loves to save some money. And yes, I'm one of those people that buys clothes, wears them before they wash them. Don't act like you don't do it. And if you are new here to the channel, thanks for watching. My name's Real Breaking Nate. I'm an adult who collects Pokemon. So what? I'm weird and I'm just being myself. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start off by opening up some Pokemon booster packs. And we're actually gonna start off with some hidden Fates 10s right here. We got two Hidden Fates 10s that we are going to open up. So we're going to open up some Hidden Fates 10s. Then we're going to look at the PSA 10 Psyduck Collection update. And then we're going to go into some Cosmic Eclipse booster packs. So the reason that we are opening up some Hidden Fates and some Cosmic Eclipse in today's Pokemon card opening is that we are going to be doing a binder update for Hidden Fates and Cosmic Eclipse probably within the next week or so. Uh, so we're going to try to get some more cards to add to the binders right back there. If you're new here to the channel, that binder right back there is Hidden Fates. That binder right back there is Cosmic Eclipse. We are trying to get one of every single card from the set. I know I'm crazy to try to do that, especially with Cosmic Eclipse, but we are trying to do it. And we're actually coming pretty close with Hidden Fates. We need less than 10 cards as of right now to complete the set. So let's try to see if we can get a couple cards to add to the binder. So right there is the Raichu GX that comes inside four booster packs right there. Whoa, the birds coming in strong right there. One for Moltres, one for Zapdos, and one for Articuno, I assume. Let's go ahead and start off with the shiny Charizard pack artwork right here. Do me a favor, let me know in the comment section down below if you could have a collection, a PSA 10 collection of any one Pokemon. What Pokemon would you choose? Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear what you all would collect. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that are gonna say Charizard. I know, I know Charizard is, uh, is essentially the most popular probably when it comes to PSAs. Energy, I'll put that right back there. Farfetch'd, Graveler, Chansey, we have a shiny Quagsire breaking family, starting off strong with a shiny Pokemon and a Mew. Sorry, Mew, the spotlight has been stolen by shiny Quagsire. It's actually a pretty playable card as well. Let's go ahead and sleeve that card up. I am using the Elite Trainer Box sleeves right here from Cosmic Eclipse. Let's go ahead and sleeve that up. Whoop! Right up here in the VIP section, the very important Pokemon section. All right, next booster pack going in strong. Make sure you hit that subscribe button right below the video screen. Become part of the Breaking Family. We're just having a good time here on the channel, enjoying Pokemon, being ourselves. I know I'm weird, I can't help it, but you know what? When you come to this channel, you're gonna get someone who is authentic, someone who's being real, uh, someone who discusses their personal life, uh, things that they're dealing with, and, and just enjoys Pokemon for what it is and just has a good time. And I encourage all of you to do the same uh, in this community. Gardevoir GX, a shiny Gardevoir GX full art and a Gyarados GX in the same booster pack. This Raichu 10 is on fire so far. Woo, there we go, there's the code card. Let's go ahead, we got two we have to sleeve up this time around. We're doing pretty good, not gonna lie. 
Gardevoir GX, which we all know about the fairy Pokemon right now, as of Sword and Shield release, when, or when that gets released, uh, there will no longer be fairy Pokemon types printed. So you'll still get fairy Pokemon such as Gardevoir GX, but they will not be a fairy type. They will be most likely a psychic type Pokemon card, and that is going to be starting with Sword and Shield. All right. Okay, third booster pack in. Let's see if we can continue this craziness with a shiny pull in every single booster pack. Geodude, Cubone, Energy. Put that right back there. Giovanni's Exile, Brock's Grit, Koga's Trap, and a Bill's Analysis. I always seem to pull a Bill's Analysis. Uh, and then once again, I want to make sure there's a lot of people that have been subscribing lately and joining the Breaking Family. And i just like everybody to know that I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to come and hang out and enjoy some Pokemon fun with me. I do upload four to five times every single week uh, right here on this channel. So I encourage you to hit that bell notification icon right at the bottom of your screen. My upload time is 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um... There's some days when videos take a little bit longer and it might be like an hour later, but 3 p.m. We have a Matang, a shiny Matang. Nice, and another Mew, but 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is my usual upload day, except for Saturdays, I upload at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Shiny Matang, how you doing? Shiny Matang. So hit that bell notification icon, get notified, rush over here, leave a comment, leave a like. I try to reply to as many comments as possible, as humanly possible. Okay, here we go. And you'll find my Discord and all my social media down in the video description down below where I post some, I post some more stuff on that. Pokemon related stuff. Oh, gotta show the code card and my personal life stuff. All right, there we go. There's the code card. I'm going to set this off to the side. I can't get it back in the tin, so I'm just going to set it over there. Okay, there we go. Got it all back together. Okay, four booster packs. One, two, three, four. Oh, one of every single pack artwork. Will it do better than the Raichu? Because that right there was pretty crazy. We had a shiny Pokemon out of every single booster pack except for one. Okay, going into our first one here, and I do see Psyduck, and I actually don't have that Psyduck in PSA 10 form. Uh, one, well, I'll discuss that later. I'll better get into some PSA 10 talk, but uh, I'll discuss that for that little segment. Farfetch'd, Brock's Gym, Chansey, Metapod Pod, and what is up with these Mews? It is Attack of the Mews today. We have a trilogy going on right there. Look at that. Three Mews and one lonely Bill's Analysis. There's the code card. Shiny Charizard coming in strong. We will be opening up Sword and Shield here on the channel very, very soon. Uh, I will be going to a pre-release tournament, uh, maybe two, and I always do a vlog the pre-release tournaments and the Sword and Shield openings from those. Something kind of unique we do here on this channel. We do that every time a new set comes out. Metapod, Pokemon Center Lady, Scyther, Golem, and a Misty's Water Command, Hollow Rare, getting a little bit something different besides a uh, a Mew. But unfortunately, this tin has not been as good as that Raichu tin. I mean, we got a Hollow Rare. Let's not let's not lie about that. That's a good a good pull right there. But we have not gotten a shiny Pokemon so far. Jigglypuff. Nope, I won't sing the song. I won't do it to all of you. I don't want to uh, don't want your ears to hurt. Slowpoke. Energy. I'll put that right back there. Metapod. Jinx. Magmar. Shiny Alolan Vulpix. Nice. And a Golem for the rare. Now, I think we have all of these shiny Pokemon so far except for the Matang. I think we actually needed that Matang. And speaking of Tang, do you remember that drink? Is it still around? Is it still around? It used to be huge. Huge in the 90s. And the 80s and the 70s, I think. And then I think once the 2000s came around, it just kind of like fell off the face of the earth. No one no one drinks Tang anymore. Does anybody drink Tang? Is it still around? I have no clue. I haven't had Tang in like forever. Cubone, Geodude, it's nothing but just sugar and water, I believe, right? Slowpoke, Clefairy, I don't know. I don't know. Energy, Magmar, it's good though. It's good. Sabrina Suggestion, Reverse Hello Eevee. And a Pinsir GX. That 10 wasn't as good as the very first one. There's the code card for that. Let's go ahead and sleeve up this Pinsir GX and 
get into looking at these PSA 10 side up cards. I'm going to push everything off to the side like that and that up there and look at these PSA 10 side up cards. So here is everything right here that you saw in the previous PSA 10 Psyduck video about a month ago. I'll update you periodically in videos, but you all, uh, most of you have seen these so far, but let's go through them for those of you who haven't. Uh, right here we do have a Pokemon Gym Challenge Misty's Psyduck right here. So this is a non-first edition. And then right over here, we have the first edition one. So we are trying to get a 10 for every PSA card. So here's the first edition and the non-first edition. So when I mean one of every single card, I mean one of every single card. Now, I'm only going to get the English cards, the English versions, except if there is a Japanese card that was not released outside of Japan, I will need that for the collection. So right there, we have the first edition and the non-first edition. And then we have the very first Psyduck card ever made right here from the Fossil set all the way back in 1999. This is a Gem Mint 10 first edition right there. And you see Psyduck, that classic Psyduck artwork staring right into the lake. And there is the back of it. If you've ever wondered what the back of a PSA 10 card looks like, not that exciting, not as exciting as the front. So we have all three of those. Next up, we have a Pokemon Rocket. Look at that one right there from the year 2000 first edition. So I'll still need a non-first edition for this right here. Very awesome. PSA 10 Gym Mint once again. And then we have a 2019 Pokemon Sun and Moon era Slowpoke and Psyduck GX. Love this card so, 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 so much. It is absolutely uh, my favorite tag team Pokemon card, and it is a 10 as well. I still need both the Full Arts and the Hyper Rare for Slowpoke and Psyduck GX. Those are a little bit more on the pricier side. All right, let's go ahead and look at the new additions. Where are they at? Where are they at? They're right. Oh, here they are. The new additions to the collection right here. I'll set these off to the side. So right here, we technically have three, but one of them was sent in by a fan. So we will show that one off very, very last. So this one right here that we are officially adding to the collection is the Detective Pikachu. Uh, this would technically be Sun and Moon kind of era right here, but from 2019, the Psyduck Detective Pikachu card. Now I will need, I know you can kind of see my camera right there. Uh, we will need the Detective Pikachu promo version as well, but right there is the Detective Pikachu a PSA 10 Gem Mint that we are adding to the collection officially. And then another one we will be adding right here is Neo Destiny First Edition Psyduck 10. Obviously, they all have to be 10s for the collection. Uh, one of my favorite Psyduck cards because it is one of those clay uh, type of artworks, which I do really kind of enjoy. I know a lot of people don't enjoy those, but I personally like those clay artworks. And I do love the Neo Destiny logo right there. First edition, so we will need a non-first edition. And I think one, uh, one card that's going to be really hard for me to get is the Psyduck Delta Species one. I have not seen any of those pop up, but... We do have another card that we are adding to the collection. It was sent in by a uh, by a fan by the name of Golden War Turtle right here. Golden War Turtle sent this in. Super super nice of Golden War Turtle to do this. So thank you so much, Golden War Golden War Turtle, for uh, for watching the channel, and being so supportive, and sending some positive vibes to the collection right here. This is so nice of you. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see what he sent. Misty Psyduck. We don't have any Misty Psyducks in the collection right here from the year 2000. Gym Heroes, Gym Mint 10, Misty's Psyduck. Misty, one of my all-time favorite human characters from Pokemon, the whole Pokemon universe, the whole Pokemon universe. Misty's Psyduck right there. Golden War Turtle, thank you so much for sending this to the collection out of the kindness of your heart. That is so incredibly nice of you. Wow, Golden War Turtle, part of the Breaking Family. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I did not have this one for the collection. So you can see right here, the collection is growing strong. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight PSA 10 Psyduck cards in the collection, and I will continue to update you um, on future purchases and adds to the collection. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a, a long journey, I bet. A long journey. Oh, and I was gonna show you another thing, kind of, kind of show you another thing. I have two. Well, technically one side up card right here, but it's two copies. I'm not going to show you what side up card it is, but in my opinion, it's one of the most rare side up cards ever. And I don't mean a card that simply has a picture of side up on it. It's actually a side up card. And to me, this is one of the most rare side up cards ever made. There's a lot of rare ones, but this is one of the most rare in my opinion. I want all of you to make your guess down in the comment section below, what Psyduck card do you think this is? I'm about to send these in to get them graded and hopefully they will come back a PSA 10. But either way, even if they don't, we are still going to do the big reveal right here on the channel that will be hopefully soon within the next month. So right there, two copies, it's the exact same card. What? Side up card, do you think it is? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'll set those off to the side. All right, let's go ahead and get into some cosmic clips. And those cards act right there were actually sent in by a friend that goes by the name of uh, Mr. Hello. You you probably uh, you probably heard me mention Mr. Hello here on the channel before. Whoosh! I'll put that right back there. Uh, fan of the channel, part of the Breaking Family. You all are friends to me. All right, there we go. There is the coin. I'll talk more about those cards once we get the return from uh, from getting them graded. So, uh, Victini right there. Sorry, I have no idea why I just threw that Victini. My brain is going crazy right now. Um, sorry, Victini, my apologies to you. Let's go ahead and open up some Cosmic Eclipse, see if we can pull some cards that we need to add to the binder. All right, one, two, three, four, one, two. And I got to stay hydrated. Even during the middle of a video, I'm not editing it out. Got to stay hydrated, right? Got to, I got to stay hydrated. Piplup, Cosmog, Ponyta, Crab Brawler, Energy, Pyroar, Hakamo, oh, 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 Rotom, Swoobat, and a Heliolisk, which I feel like I always pull in the Cosmic Eclipse booster packs. This next one, I'm going to take my hat off for. I'm taking my hat off. I'm going crazy. I always wear my hat. What if I don't wear my hat and I open up a Pokemon booster pack? Do you think it'll bring good luck? Do you think? There's only one way to find out. We're going to try right now. We're going to try. I know a lot of you have not seen me with my hat on before, so this is like very shocking to a lot of you. Carvana. Ooh, na na. To pig. Togemaru. Yes, there's actually hair under there and a lot of hair. I probably need a haircut though. Onyx. Wilmer. Energy. Cynthia and Caitlin, which is actually a very playable, very valuable card as well. Great catcher. Dragonium Z. Secret rare Steelix coming in strong. And a Weavile for the rare. There's the code card right there. Whoosh. I'm actually going to go grab these cards, put them right back there, add that on top. Cosmic Eclipse, one more time. Let's one more time. One more time. Do it without the hat. That last one was just a test. It was just a practice run. We're going to try it without the hat one more time. And then I'm going to put the hat back on because I do feel very weird and awkward without it on. All right. We have a Azuril, Rufflet, Oddish, Ralt, Sandy Gas, Energy, Ambipom, Lana's Fishing Rod, Vaporeon, Reverse Hello, Empoleon. This is not the last booster pack, so don't worry. And not an Ultra Rare, which means I'm putting the hat back on, okay? It did not bring us any good luck at all, so... There we go, some more booster packs. The hat officially going back on. There we go. Woo! All right. Let's rock this. Let's do it, Breaking Family. Let's pull some fire. I'm going to throw the trash on the ground right over there. Put it all in my filing cabinet. Okay, come on. Ultra Rare. It is so hard to pull an Ultra Rare from Cosmic Eclipse. Why is it so hard? Do all of you have the same problem? I'm sure a lot of you do. A lot of you have been telling me that you've been having problems pulling... Ultra Rares from Cosmic Eclipse, Lily's Full Force, Ends Resolve, Secret Rare, Mimikyu, and a Drampa. We've not even pulled a, a Hollow Rare. Not even a Hollow Rare yet. There's the code card for that one. Cosmic Eclipse, next up. Okay, 
I feel like the same, this has been the same artwork for like all the packs. I don't know, somebody's gonna have to go back and watch and see if that's the same artwork for all the packs. Okay, come on, all too rare. Come on, Breaking Family, hit that like button. Give us some good luck in this booster pack. Rowlet, Phantom, Energy, Island Challenge Amulet, Karelia, Roller Skater, Natu. There we go, Breaking Family, Soul Galio, and Lunala GX, our first, uh, I almost said Hyper Rare, then I almost said Secret Rare. Our first Ultra Rare Pokemon card in today's Pokemon card opening. So Galio and Lunala GX. And as you do see, I do put the values in the bottom corner of the screen in case you are interested in that. Do we want this to be the last booster pack? I mean, technically it was supposed to be the last booster pack, but we're having such a good time. I got this booster box sitting right over here. And it's a booster box full of Burning Shadows. Random. I know. I told you. It, I, I, it, I'm random. I'm weird here on the channel. Why do I have a random booster box of Burning Shadows sitting here? Who knows at this point, okay? But let's open up some Burning Shadows, okay? All right. Come on. Another Ultra Rare. Let's make it happen. One more. Teddy Ursa. Nose Pass. Litleo. Hello, baby. Hey, baby. Spiel. Energy. Tangrowth. Primplup. Anorith. Golette. And a hollow rare, Black Kiram for the rare. And our code card. Let's go into some Burning Shadows. I'm serious. So there's a dire booster box right here of Burning Shadows. Why? I don't know. I have no clue. What if this was a hyper rare Charizard GX, though? That, that would be pretty crazy, to be honest with you. We already have one, but another one wouldn't be bad, right? Suck. Noibat. Stuffle. Mudbray. Tinamo, energy, whoa, whoa, whoo, that, that came right back out. <laughs> Simiseer, Dusclops, Acerola, Crab Brawler, and a Brexish. That one, that one really caught me off guard there. I'm going to have to watch this back when I edit to see if I like jumped, if I got scared. Oh, I forgot to show you the code cards. I'll show you here in a minute. I always uh, show the code cards in the videos. Uh, Cutie Fly, Dewpider, Togedomaru, Wimpod, Meowth, Energy. There we go. Hit the floor. Acerola, Gloom, Escape Rope, Panseer, and Electros. We can't end on this. We cannot end on this. There's the code cards for those. We got to keep. Come on. Come on. Let's get one more Ultra Rare. Let's not end until we get an Ultra Rare. This could be dangerous. Hopefully not. There's a the code card right there in case you're interested. I know. People are like, oh, it's a green coat. There's not going to be uh, an ultra rare in it. Really? Are we still, do we still really look at the code cards? Do we want to spoil the fun? No, we don't want to spoil the fun. Simipoir, Sophocles, and a Meow Stick. Okay, this is the one right here. This is the one. Ultra rare. Let's make it happen. Let's end on an ultra rare pull. We have an Alolan Vulpix, Horsey, Noibat, Alolan Grimer, uh, Ryolu, Energy, Karelia, Heatmore, Weakness Policy, Inke, Necrozma GX, ending on an ultra rare pull, Breaking Family. There's the code card for that one. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve this up. I'm going to grab the binders right back there and let's see if we can add some cards to the Cosmic Eclipse binder and the Hidden Fates binder. Probably not, but we'll try. So I grabbed the Pokemon card binders because we are able to add something to both of them, which really, really surprised me. Starting off with the Cosmic Eclipse binder right here, we are adding in this Reverse Hollow Empoleon. I know not the most exciting add-on to the Pokemon card binder, but every single card helps to complete the collection to 100 percent and then the hidden fates binder right here surprisingly we've opened up hundreds 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 and hundreds and hundreds of hidden fates booster packs and still have not pulled a shiny matang right here we have finally pulled one adding it into the binder right there Woo! and of course as always breaking family thanks for watching the channel and taking the time out of your busy schedule to come and hang out with this weird person right here if today was a rough day for you remember that tomorrow is a new day a new day for you to wake up and give it your best i know you can do it don't forget life is awesome and so are you i love every single one of you amazing people and i will see all of you all of you in the next video do it with me now peace love and a high five